Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be modeling in Maya. We're going to be adding some detail in ZBrush and we're going to render out in Substance Painter. And what we're going to create is a button for a uniform. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our uh, button surface. And uh, for that, let's see, we'll take a uh, polygon cylinder to start with, right? Okay, now we're going to be remeshing this and all that kind of cool stuff in ZBrush, so don't worry about it too much. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the R to uh, scale it. We're going to push it down. We're going to hit Control A to go in. We're going to go in to our caps, and we're going to set that to 4. For the simple reason that I want to have that kind of bulged on the top, right? So now that we have that, what we'll do is uh, we'll go in and we'll uh, right click and go to vertex. I'm gonna take that middle vertex right there. I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard for soft select. Hold down B, left click and drag to increase the impacted area. And then hit W and basically raise it up a bit. Now the impacted area is not enough. You can see it's just raising in the middle. So I'm gonna hold down B and drag it out a bit further. I think that looks better. Yeah. Okay, fine. So now we have that. We're going to right click and go to face. I'm going to hit B to turn off my soft select. Click and shift, double click on that. We're going to go to uh, edit mesh and um, let's see, extrude. We'll do 0 0.3. That's a bit much. 0 0.15 maybe. And then we'll do, uh, let's see. 0 0.1 on the offset. Let's actually make that minus 0 0.1. Um, minus 0 0.03. There you go. So if we go in now and we uh, go to object mode and hit 3, you see that we've got a slightly elevated round edge there. Okay. Now if you want that to be more distinct, we're going to go into the top double click on that top edge go to edit mesh and bevel and set that to 0 0.1 and now if you go and hit 3 you will have a slightly more distinct area there okay and again if you want it even to be a bit harder than that what you can do is go in to uh, let's see uh, into the edge loop option box multiple set edges to 2 go in and set them like this and then hit R and kind of pull them up all right hit Q on your keyboard go to object mode 3 to preview smooth and it will get something like this all right okay now depending on the use of the button you can decide whether you want to have the eye on the back or not uh, but if you do it's simply a matter of just uh, taking out these edges here and uh, connecting them together but normally they're going to be on a uniform and you're not going to see that. So there's not really a point. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to object mode. We're going to go to uh, mesh and uh, smooth to get that initial shape. And then we're going to start to work on it in ZBrush. Okay. So we're going to go to uh, edit, delete by type history. We're going to go to modify and freeze transformation. And then we're going to go to file, export selection. And uh, let's see. I'm just going to call this button OBJ. All right, and export selection. Now, uh, before we open this up in ZBrush, we obviously need a, a pattern um, for our image on our button. Okay, so what we're going to do there is we're going to jump into Photoshop. All right, we're in uh, Photoshop. I'm going to go up to uh, File and uh, New, and I want to have a perfectly um, square image so uh, let's do 800 by 800 this doesn't have to be 300 we'll just do 100 in resolution that's fine we're going to create that and then we're going to go to file and uh, place embedded and I'm going to uh, pick up an image that I found which is this uh, Spartan which is uh, pretty awesome uh, that's what we're going to use. Uh, it's already centered. I'm going to hit enter. Uh, however, I want this to be white on a black background. So I'm going to select my background here. I'm going to uh, hit control delete to make that black. 
I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to go up to uh, image and adjustments. So we're going to go to hue and saturation. And uh, let's see. Actually, what I can do is just uh, make it very light and it will become white automatically. Okay. So I'm going to select all of these layers here. I'm going to right click and go to merge layers. And then I'm going to go to file and uh, export. And uh, actually, I can just save it. Save as, and I'll call this um, alpha. I'll save it as a uh, PSD, and we'll save it in the button folder. All right. So now we can actually jump into ZBrush. Here we go. All right. Well, we're in the ZBrush. We're going to go up to uh, import. And I'm going to go to my button folder, take our OBJ and open that up. Left click and drag, hold on shift to snap it like so. And then we're going to click on edit and we're going to click on make polymesh 3D, right? Now I'm going to hit on a P on my keyboard because that will give me perspective view and I just uh, like that better. This is our guy. And then what we're going to do is a couple of things. Uh, we are going to turn on our polymesh. You can see what's going on. And it looks okay, no end guns and whatnot. And I'm happy with this as my low poly, right? So I'm gonna to go to my sub tool. This is our guy, I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna rename it actually. And we'll just uh, call this low poly button OBJ. Hit enter. And we want this to be UV'd. So we're gonna to go to Z plugin. Let's go to UV master. We're gonna click on Make sure I got it selected. Hang on. Yep. We're going to go to C plugin and unwrap all. Okay. Now, uh, just to make sure that happened, we're going to go to Z plugin and uh, look at flatten. And there you go. So I'm going to unflatten. Happy with that. Okay. So that's our low poly. Now we're going to duplicate it. We're going to just uh, make sure we've got this guy selected and we're going to rename that. And we'll call this one our high poly button and hit enter and on our high poly we actually want more poly count so with this selected we're going to hit uh, control D to bump that up and let's see we're at 4,017,270,276 million and 4.4 million now 4.4 is maybe a bit much um, let's see yeah, it's going to be okay, right? So if I turn this off and on, you can see we now have a very dense uh, story going on here, okay? All right, so what I want to do here is I want to go into the surface menu and I want to beat up the button a bit, okay? So surface menu, we're going to go into Lightbox Noisemakers, okay? And let's see, I uh, recently found this one. I think it's uh, pretty cool, this blue one. So we're gonna double click on it. And I'm gonna close our light box. And that will beat this thing up like crazy. Now that's obviously too much. So we're gonna go in here. Let's uh, bring our menu down a bit. We're gonna go in and I'm gonna go into edit. And let's see, I'm gonna bring down that strength a bit. Push it closer to zero. So we got a little bit, okay. I think that's okay. And then you can tweak the scale as well, and I think that's okay. Now we're gonna hit okay here, but you need to make sure that you click on uh, apply to mesh, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. And there we go. Right. So now that we have that, uh, let's look at our alpha. Now this is the uh, the side that we want. This one right here. So we're gonna hold on shift to snap it. I'm going to go in and what I'm going to do is go in here and use this square and then I'm going to go in here and we need to import the new alpha. So right here, import and here is the one, this one, the one that we made, open that up. We're all good and we're going to do a quick test because maybe we need to tweak the intensity, the position and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to click and drag, rotate this around. Kind of jumpy, so let's uh, 
hold that I think this looks all right and let's go so let's see and that turned out perfect all right now if that doesn't work for you you can uh, tweak the intensity but you can also tweak the focal shift all right now I think this turned out quite well so what we're going to do next is we're going to export the high poly and the low poly and we're going to texture it and bake it in substance painter okay so uh, let's see we're going to go back to our subtool menu uh, so this is our high poly and we're going to go to uh, export I'll call this high poly button there you go save that so just to make sure I always do a, a re-export just in case I uh, forgot to export the UV version but you know I already did that but I'll just go to uh, export and we'll just take this guy actually you know I'll be consistent and call it just low poly button all right okay substance painter here we go and here we are all right file we're going to go to new and we will uh, leave this at pbi metal rough we're going to select go to our button folder take the low poly button open that up set the uh, map size to 2k which is fine and we're going to hit okay and there is our uh, low poly there you go and then we're going to bake our maps so we're going to go to bake textures we're going to click on this little guy and we're going to select our high poly button right there set it to 2k size as well turn off the id here because we don't need that and bake default textures here we go Right guys, well the maps have been baked as you can see. I think the result is uh, very cool. Okay, and now we can go in and texture it. Okay, so let's see what we have as far as materials are concerned. Let's uh, try something like bronze armor. Here we go. So we only have one texture set here, so we're gonna bring that in. And I think that will look pretty cool on our button. And uh, that is actually perfect, okay. That's what we want to go for. Now you can go in here and you can uh, tweak your settings, you know, as far as, you know, um, how uh, shiny you want it to be and so forth. You got a metallic slider, you know, that you can play with. You can bump that way up. You got roughness that you can play with if you like. I think uh, a little bit of sheen looks okay. And you can change the color, of course, if you want it to be darker or, you know, more towards uh, kind of chrome type deal uh, let's do something like that all right okay so what you can do is you can add an additional layer uh, let's go in here and uh, we'll take a simple brush we'll take some black paint so change white to black we'll uh, close this we'll go back up uh, let's see what else uh, we can increase the size so we can decrease the flow so it's kind of faint if you will and let's see what else and then we only want color so we're going to turn off height roughness metalness and normal just color okay and then you can basically just go in and kind of you know darken up the edges if you want you don't have to but you can uh, for the simple reason that these buttons have been touched over and over and over and over opening the uniform closing the uniform and so forth and that's just a way to uh, kind of play with that, right? Okay, so happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this right here. So I'm going to go to mode. We're going to go to rendering. I think that looks pretty cool. And let's uh, go in and see if we can tweak a little bit. First of all, I'm going to increase the minimum samples a bit. 562. Uh, let's see we're gonna go in here I'm gonna leave that alone I'm gonna go in and see if uh, I choose a different HDR map whether that will look better that kind of looks cool yeah so we'll leave that now I don't actually want to see the background so I'm gonna click on dome and uh, I think that's where we can change this yeah actually let's play with that first we're gonna do environmental rotation so you can kind of rotate that around you want the uh, light to come in from a different angle so I think that's kind of cool 
Uh, let's see what else you can do a clear color as a background like I mentioned I think gray is typically good and uh, yeah pretty happy with it okay so it's a uh, rendering I will wait until that's done and there you go so that's our tutorial for today uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed it and uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos okay thank you guys very much for watching as always you are very very much appreciated and see you guys next time bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that mh button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye